Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to day 1536. And we're at the San Diego Zoo. Where should we go first? This place is huge. Bryce, who you sitting with, dude? Brody, what's up, Brody man? How you doing, girls? You excited to see some animals? Yay! Yay! Hey, why don't you come back here and sit here with Tiffany? There you go. Yes, here, sit next to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome aboard, everybody. My name is Monica. I'm going to be your tour guide and driver for the next 35 to 40 minutes or so. It was a long drive. for us to see as we make our way around the zoo today. San Diego Zoo I'm is excited, guys. Acres. I like That's the zoo. A lot of I love for you to do today. So rainforest, oh, tropical. Sure Look at this. Look. We're around. in a rainforest. We're in a rainforest. Yeah, going to be sure I told the kids, let me know if you see any dinosaurs because I totally remember Ryan's with Jurassic Park. Oh, oh yeah, look at the rainforest, man. So cool. That is where you'll find Connor. Love it. Love it. So we're going to look for a two younger brother. Now, Valerio has gotten quite a bit larger than his mom now. In weight. When he was born, was six feet and 146 pounds. That's basically giving birth to a high school basketball player. So any mothers on the bus are appreciating that one right now. He is the tallest animal in the zoo, and he towers over the top of these double decker buses. So that's Silver right there. He's bothered all the little young Two week old giraffe right there. Look at him. Six feet tall. He's about your height. Yeah. So that's our ear right there. Yeah. And Baca. That's because she's still, she's still losing her baby fur. Just a little bit there on the back of her neck. We're like in the rainforest. Look at this. Just surrounded by trees. Is that a lizard? What is that? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, kids trying to figure out where we're going next on the hunt. Some big animals. Every time I, get, I go inside an Avery, I feel like Jurassic Park with the pterodactyls, the pterodactyl Avery. Like the same fence, the same like all the way up fence. <laughs> Does it? It reminds me of like Jurassic Park. Oh, look at that. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put you. Yeah. I see baby ones. Some weird looking ones, huh? Yeah. They got like a long hair. Look at the baby one. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, so what's the one animal you're looking forward to seeing? Gorillas. Gorillas. How come? Well, I want to see different types of monkeys. And gorillas is one of them. One of them. One I, I, kind of animal, mammal. Mm hmm. I've never really seen gorillas in my zoo before. So. Yeah, I don't think we have gorillas in Phoenix. <laughs> I'm sticking his butt against you in the glass. <laughs> How white he is compared to you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hercules beetle. Look at that. That's Jaws. Where's the stick? All over. Look at him. What are these? They're all over. Look. Oh, spiders? <laughs> White spiders. <laughs> Even no spiders. <laughs> These guys right here. There's little 
potato bug looking things like that. See right there? Okay. This is a Derby's flower beetle. Big one. Ew. Giant. It's hanging. Thank you. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. You guys have this. <laughs> Daddy, where is that little branch? I'm not sure. Where are the cameras coming from? These caves. How are they getting to those? Through the holes in the mounds? Why is it gross? There's a lot of them. Why is it gross? I don't know. Sick. How does he eat? How does he eat a small ant mammal? How big is he? I can come here by hand. Duckling. Duckling. Outside of Yellowstone Park. Grizzly bears, huh? I see one there. Where'd the other one go? Oh, she's inside. Jump in the water, buddy. What are we in line for, Sierra? Pandas. Pandas? Why is there a line for pandas? Because you can't see them anywhere else. Yeah, we'll have to find out exactly like where other pandas are, but someone said it's like really super rare to have pandas, right? Wow, look at her. Do you see her? She's so fluffy! Peekaboo, we see you! Look at her. That's awesome. Now, as you folks can do, please do keep those voices down and as quiet as possible. So treat this like a library. And make sure no music as you come through today. Species due to habitat loss and destruction. So they are from southwestern China and habitat all over the world. The young star. Well, these old growth forests are really He's got a little chair. He's chilling. See, Bryce, you just eat the whole thing, eat the whole because bamboo. They're big, because they are naturally solitary, so they like to live on their own. For a while, they have their own territories. This is because giant pandas never went to kindergarten, and they don't learn how to share. Giant pandas can eat 23 to 36 pounds of bamboo every single day. Now, because they eat so much bamboo, if they live together or in groups, they would run out of food. So that's why they spread out and they have their own territories, their own space. Uh, so or we turn around and go right back where we came and go out. So this is what it feels like to be in a helicopter, minus all the instruments. You don't have any uh, controls, but no, you know, that's what it feels like though. That's a helicopter. No, no polar bears. Oh no! Oh. You guys ready? Sky high over the San Diego Zoo. Oh! Not yet. All the animals. How tall are those trees? There's downtown San Diego. <laughs> yeah.
the tree tops. I love this. Love it. Dad, oh, there's a duck on top of the thing. Well, guys, we made our way back to the beach house. What a great time at the San Diego Zoo. The animals are amazing. You see things we just don't see in Phoenix. We have two zoos there that we visit frequently, and uh, it's pretty awesome to see those hempen animals. The, the, the gorillas were just amazing, the size of them, and of course, the pandas were adorable. And like I said, we gotta look up and figure out what the limitations are, but those like the only place you can find pandas around here is there at the San Diego Zoo, so quite an attraction. What you doing? Drawing Uncle Jack? Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> That's good. I like it. I've drawn two other things too. I've drawn bubble guppies for uh, Victoria X's birthday. Oh, yeah. Days ago. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Um, no, artiste. Um, and what are you boys doing? Magic tricks. He's showing me magic tricks. Magic tricks? Alright, so Bryce is working on some dominoes again. He's trying to make a, a, a little, uh, what's he, what do you call this thing, a domino maze? A little domino action. Goes all the way around the table. We're gonna try and go all the way around. See if we, can, see if we have enough? I think we have enough. We, we might have to like spread them out a little bit, but I think we got enough. Mm. It's like your second or third time doing this, huh? <laughs> you knocked it over once. I did knock it over once, I'm sorry. That's what I'm helping you. You I'm, stopped it. I'm helping you, I'm helping you fix it. Oh, you did that, you did that! You just, you put it down and it fell like that, see? <laughs> hey, at least you know it works. <laughs> and that's our day. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you guys tomorrow for more San Diego adventures. Vlog on.